All right, we're back, and we're gonna go right into playing some more of this little game, cause it's cool. Here we are. The game is now apparently about to get much harder, so <coughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens here. All right, is there anything I want to do? before going forward. I suppose I could go back to Threed and see how they're doing with the, like, ghost problem or whatever. The zombie issue. But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go forward. Pass the cup of coffee. Oh. Are you going to take a picture of me drinking coffee? Really? This is actually not a bad photo. At the end of the game, do I get to see all the uh, all these pictures? Whole Milky Well. That sounds dirty. What, this? Ding, ding. Okay. Ding, ding, indeed. <coughs> Alright. Strut and evil mushroom. The Ren boob. <laughs> Tough mobile sprout. To the Ren boob! all plants, so I feel like they should be vulnerable to the fire. Became day. Nice. We did it. Because <coughs> it was level 27. Ooh, she got a better Psy Shield. Psy Shield Sigma. Wonder if that will shield all of us? So, her having the mushroom doesn't do anything. Because. She is not controlling the party's direction. <coughs> Fire! Oh, it healed itself. That's adorable. Oh no! Okay, that's a problem. <laughs> Kazing. Your funky feeling is an issue. Perhaps we should go back to a place where there's a hospital and sell them a mushroom. What am I paying you for? Welp, that was terrible. Mushrooms, it turns out, very dangerous. <laughs> do not do do not give your confused party member the full party attack command. <laughs> Wow. 
Welp. Where do I spawn out of curiosity? Okay. Can I get them revived for... By the Saturns? By Dr. Saturn? <coughs> Revive my friends. Hey, we can. And it's free. Nice. <coughs> yeah, so what happened with the mushroom jet lag is that uh, I used the max, my like fire beta that, um, that Kazing has. Um, but she was confused, so she used it on us instead of the enemies, and it wiped out her and party, and mostly me, and then I was subsequently wiped out. Hmm, I've noticed today one of my favorite mugs has a crack in it. That's a little sad. I mean, it's not the best mug because it's, uh... Wait, what was, um... What was in this big cave? Don't remember if I went in there or not. Oh, it's just a bunch of trash cans. <coughs> I already had a protractor. Sudden guts. Okay. No, not the sudden guts. Um, give the what? Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, this is what I meant to do. <laughs> So what does Sudden Guts do? I assume it permanently doubles your guts during battle. After battle, guts return to normal. Gone after one use. Okay. I don't know what guts does. I think it's critical hit or something. Uh, that was XP. Um... That would be XP jet lag. The only way I can get money in this game is by selling things or talking to my dad on the phone. Um, and then when I talk to my dad on the phone, he tells me how much XP is needed to get to the next level for each character. <coughs> hey, Ranboob. Ranboob is also a good insult. God, you're such a Ranboob. Shield beta. <coughs> Ooh, his HP went up. I do like a good HP boost. That is perhaps my single most liked item in RPGs, is those boosts. Alright, let's get rid of that mushroom first. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's gonna be a one round kill. It is a one round kill, nice. Talking to my dad is a weirdly big portion of my income. <laughs> yeah. doing health-wise. Is everybody still at full everything? Because Zing could use some more side points, but everybody's at full health. So, butterfly it is. Okay, and there's nothing up there. So we'll just move downwards. Hey, Ranboop. I was hoping to be able to, uh, go before the, uh, I was hoping to get him far enough away from the other one that they wouldn't be able to, uh, get there in time. Body, wake up. encountered a Ranboob in its cohort. I'm a wiener. Mm -hmm. Alright. Come on, little mobile. Mobile sprout, I can take you. <coughs> You're just a tiny little sprout. All on your own, unless you call for reinforcements. Nope, we got it. It stopped moving. <laughs> yeah, Ranboob. I don't know if it's that's supposed to be a reference to something or what, but... saying that now because Sean keeps saying it. <laughs> nice. Nice! Twelve additional psi. That's another fire beta right there. There's a coin of slumber inside. I should see if there's a description on that Saturn coin of like what it actually does. Must be equipped as other. Increases defense and luck not money even though it's called a coin. Okay. Um, equip. Is it better than the Holmes hat? Whoa! Yeah it is! Um, okay. that to her. Not that I think she can use it, but... Yeah, that would go down. I'm giving it to... Oh, hey. 
hell are we doing? Okay. I'm giving it to Kewl because he's the heal character, so he's the one I least want to die. This is the third your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. We dare! We do dare! What is it? Trillionage, trillionage sprout? We'll shoot the main guy because the other guys will just get taken out by the fire eventually. was even able to heal this or not. Okay, good. Kazang. Max HUA3, PP by 1. Defense down, alpha. <coughs> Alright, let's put this song in our s song of stone of songs. He heard his mother from far away. She said, Be a thoughtful, strong boy. Sounds over quote the melody of the Milky Well. So I guess that's the Milky Well. Uh, I mean, it doesn't look entirely um, unobscene either, considering. Alright. Recorded some landscape music. Now I guess we go back to Threed. We have advantage. good at hitting things lately. <laughs> at some point someone made a decision to put trippy backgrounds to look at during the combat. That's true. They made that 
maybe originally they had some kind of decision whereby uh, they were originally going to do like a different background depending on what area you were in and then they didn't have time to finish it or something cool what's your deal why are you having such bad aim Maybe I need to get him another melee weapon. <coughs> See, I feel like this game is exactly the sort of thing that, um... Uh, it's the coin that's doing that. Um, the, the, it's making me less accurate, I mean. Um, I feel like this is exactly the sort of thing that Undertale was commenting on. This fact that, like, I approach these monsters and they run away from me, but to gain XP, I, like, f hunt them down and attack them anyway. <laughs> like, feels really, um... Aggress- like, unnecessarily aggressive. should have let him run away further, he wouldn't have gotten back in time. Oh well. <coughs> I have learned my lesson and will take out the mushrooms first. supposed to be a reference to something particular like some kind of um, mythological creature that I don't recognize guys I can't get through you you are blocking the passage if you want to run away you have to actually get out of the way taking out your mushrooms, then you need to just break of parsley. Then you need to fire the ran boobs. I should sell that home sap while I'm here. What the fuck was that duck? Alright, let me just sell this real quick. Unless I already sold the home. Is it still there? Man? Oh, it is still there. What's with these ducks? Appreciate. Appreciate the ducks? I am. Can you get out of the way so I can go talk to the ducks? <laughs> what 
What is with those ducks, though? Direction? Oh, just this little place. Alright. Let's go heal ourselves up and return to Threed. Now he deposited like 5,000 some. What, what causes him to, what determines how much money he gives me? Because that seems like a lot of money. I guess I did have a boss fight between now and then. <coughs> Maybe it's XP gained? Ducks looked like they were wearing little bow ties. I don't know if you guys noticed that. <coughs> so the ran boobs run away from me, but the roaches are still aggressive. Sometime I'll get a chance to look at those ducks. Alright, now we gotta go back to the land of civilized people where they charge you for. Oh, come on, I thought that was totally a back attack. Um, where they charge you for healing. to the armored frog now. That's good. I guess we've hit the point where we're overcoming that high defense score, which is good. Mm, not many enemies around. They must be hiding from me. Butterfly. Butterfly! This way? Nothing of interest. Alright. Whoa! Again! Alright, well, I can do the, like, sort of cheap thing and heal those two points and then <laughs> get back my whatever six <laughs> side points or something. guy that was there selling food is gone. Maybe he went back to town because things are fixed now? I hope things are fixed now. I mean, we did take out the leader of the zombies. And we did catch all of the zombies in town inside a giant circus tent, which somebody I believe was going to set on fire. Um, so, you know. That's a thing. Let's see if Threed is less blue now. I'm a little worried.
worried about the statue that was discovered in my hometown, because that seems to be the statue that's like making people go insane. So I'm worried that like people in my hometown have now gone insane. What about my family? They seem okay when I call them though. Thank you for bringing peace and happiness back to three. How do you know I did it? Peace, love. Yep, that's what I thought. Ghosts are gone now. Alrighty, indeed. <laughs> you want to smell the big city. Sweet. So I'm guessing there are four towns and then four season name towns. Guiding for treasure. <laughs> well, Pokey was already working for the bad guys, so. <sighs> Hi, Mr. Photo Guy. You're not gonna get a good photo on the uh, other side of that fence, guy. but my kids won't speak with me because you're an asshole. Monsters are no longer in the tunnel. Came really quite peaceful. I can sleep again. It's like you used a bunch of piece of paper right now. <laughs> they still have a cage full of zombies. See if we can fix it. We probably can't fix it. But it's worth a try. Oh, hey. My phone is a ringing. What's up? It's your dad. You've been out there for a long time. Oh. It's okay, dad. I'm good. I already took a break. Keep an eye out for bad guys. Will do, dad. Thanks. to fix for the time being. Yep. Maybe in the future our great inventor dad will come and fix it for us. Or something. I don't know. Do I just like take a bus or walk through the tunnel or what? I'm so glad you wiped out the zombies. Let me give you a kiss. Smooch. Tee hee hee. We can breathe it deep outside air now the zombies are gone. The outdoors is so refreshing. sort that out. Alright, part of me is really tempted to go get that postcard from Saturn Village before I get too much further away. Just because I have this weird feeling like if we run into another Sat Mr. Saturn later, we might want to have that postcard to prove that we've been to the village. I 
I mean, it's just gonna give us more XP if we keep going, so maybe it's worth it. By which I mean if we go back. A little grinding is not bad. It was only like two dollars, which makes me suspicious because if it was useful it would be more than two dollars. Um, so the fact that it's only two dollars means it's some kind of special item that they want you to buy. Right, because the standard items are like, you know, fifty or almost like, there's one that's like seventeen hundred for a revive thing. Um, the Horn of Life, which, if it's a permanent item, is probably something I would want, but I don't know if it is or not. Maybe I should buy one and find out. Life Noodles is a revive item and has also been very rare so far. Nothing to fight but some ants. Sorry guys, I'm I know it's less interesting to watch me go backwards. But this is the sort of game where that kind of thing comes in handy. Like the fact that I had that fly honey is what let me beat that other boss. So Roach is actually kind of cute as roaches go. I like his little antennas and the way he's shaking his tiny little fist. Not normally a huge fan of roaches. We had roaches in our first apartment when we uh, were living in LA and they are scary as fuck. <laughs> They're just, they're just, ugh. They're so icky. There is a, there is a story of Huck being startled by a roach that was like two inches long. It was like, ugh. It was really, really big and gross. Uh, I think you were not, I think you were the one who sold that. No. You were the one who sold the thing. Um, you, carry a postcard. <sighs> I am sorry to have started a roach discussion in chat. <laughs> That's creeping me out just thinking about it. Hey, defense spray. Now I believe defense spray was a permanent item. Who's got lowest defense? Um, okay. 50, 51, 82. 
All right, we'll give it to party. Oh, is defense spray an in battle thing? Oh, never mind. Everybody fully healed. We did the dad save. Yes, we did. Okay. And on we go. That is a terrible thing to not tell somebody about. I guess it's something you would just get used to after a while. But still. Now we can go to Forsyth. Grog beards? What's grog beards? are no match for me oh, ha, ha, ha. that doesn't feel very I, I don't feel very powerful being able to defeat some ants I could do that in real life yeah Facebook's been sending me sort of like happy anniversary kind of stuff where they're like hey do you remember this like Two years ago, you were on your honeymoon right now. I was like, oh, I guess we were, thanks. Sorry, I was checking out a link from the chat. Um, but yes, I have seen crochet beards like that. <laughs> nice. 
Matching beards, huh? Yeah, Facebook has been doing a lot of those, like, remember your memories? Oh my god, nostalgia? It's like, okay, calm down. So let's go through a tunnel. Do we actually have to pay for the bus to Forside, or can we just walk? I mean, the bus music is awesome, don't get me wrong. Shoot, I don't have any tissues on me. Babe, can you hand me a tissue? me a tissue. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just gonna walk. I'm gonna walk to the city. Why not? <laughs> ah, yes. Here is the desert that we are supposedly traveling through. Oh, is it too hot for us to go through the desert? Drugs. Well, I guess it's fine if we're on the road. Wet towel. I guess the wet towel is for, uh, if you... Point of slumber is also unequivocal. Um, um, I guess if you get too hot, you can buy a towel. Slumber must be equipped as other increases defense and luck. Okay, so that doesn't. Alright, let's see. So I want 500 for that and 1500 for that, so 2000 total. so I can heal there. Alright, look. Kill. You gotta stop carrying so much shit. Try this again. Bye, Mr. Baseball Bat. Nice. Yes. And one coin of slumber, please. I assume that, uh, I assume that the coin of slumber will also keep us from falling asleep, maybe? Nope, I'm good. Let's put in 450, and then we can 
keep that like $14. we can get like heat stroke from being off path here but hey, Mr. Mole. Oh, this is not a friendly mole. I'll talk to that. What do you want? Interesting. Only he can use a zip gun a bottle rocket. I don't know if that's any better than what he's got though. It doesn't seem like it. Hey, monkey! Talarama. Okay. Man, there was a butterfly there and I missed it. Oh well. Okay, cool. We got rid of sunstroke. Hey, monkey. So do I have to like use something on him? Yeah, I use, um, I use Facebook to sort of keep in touch with, like, people that I don't see much, um, and family members, and that's about it. Like, I'm not that... Um, it's not that useful otherwise. Butterfly, come back! We don't even have to fight it. Man, that dinosaur though. Skelpian. I want to know about the crested buka. Open to hypnosis. Twitter because I just like to say like pithy things that aren't really as clever as I think they are and that's really what Twitter is for so um no sigh uh healing dang it you can't just tell me whether that will be effective or not before I do it
double burger inside. Give me, uh, items. Ah. Actually, recover you, because you could use the recovery. You shoot, and you can use the ruster. Did you not have the ruster? Maybe you didn't have the ruster, dang it. I'm gonna shoot him then. Passed by something purple, but it might have been another one of those dinosaur things. There's a skip sandwich, DX inside. I should probably uh, take that sandwich so I can run. Okay. I just noticed that somebody got heat stroke again. So, good kazing that. Okay, and then. Eat a skip sandwich. Mm -hmm. What even was that? a ball with a mouth? Smile and sphere. Yep, you are a ball with a mouth. This is an interesting audio. Let's put it into bits. It's a buffalo. Big bottle rocket. Kazing, you can't do anything with that. What are you even doing? Sandwich wore off. Dusty Dunes headquarters for finding buried gold. Sure. Um, here, have this boiled egg. That sound is different than the other sound.
thing's dead. I actually can probably go soon. But I want to explore that hole first. Thanks, Mom. There's like not much in here. Is there a map of the desert? There is not. Okay. Oh hey, I got up around the traffic jam. I could just go to Foresight now. Jefferson, Pancho, Pincho, and Thomas Jefferson. I change the direction they start in if they would uh, if I could force them to get a certain value desert well at least it's got that helpful sign there's probably other stuff I've missed um, in this desert and I may have to come back to it. But, since Foresight is right here. If they really don't want me to go to Foresight, they'll put something that blocks me until I've found a particular thing in the desert. side we'll call it a day. Mr. Geldegard Monotoli hit the big time. Alright. Hotel this way. You can tell it's a big city because the angles are much higher. Hey dad, guess where we are? say. Okay. So, I hope you enjoyed that foray through the desert and the 
village of the Saturn folk. I feel like we made a bunch of progress in this segment, more or in this uh, this session, more than we usually do, which is good. Um, I, sh I gotta stop. I'm sure it's really distracting for me to. I just like swinging back and forth in the chair like that. It's a rotating chair. It's for rotating. Anyway, thank you for joining me. It has been lovely. <laughs> what? Are my do my elbows hyperextend? Is that are they backwards? Everybody's elbows goes that far go that far, don't they? Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, that's, is that a double joint? I thought that's just everybody's elbows go that far. Anyway, um, good having you all here with me. Uh, stay tuned on Monday. The mostly walking crew on uh, Day 9's channel are playing Toonstruck right now, which is pretty fantastic. Um, Wednesday is Jason streaming, and usually, or uh, rather, Seanbo has sort of tentatively said he might start streaming again soon, so keep an eye on his Twitter for that. Um, don't know for sure that it's going to be on Wednesdays, but don't even know for sure that it's happening. But stay tuned for that. And then Friday is another one of us, and I encourage people to sign up for that. Uh, I also might um, might stream on an, on an upcoming one, one of us, depending on when I re have time and when I remember. <laughs> um, and then come back next week to see me stream more of this uh, at the same usual time, 10 a.m. Uh, if it's not going to be there, you can follow me on at Kyla underscore go to get info about if I need to cancel or what the deal is. Um, tonight we will be, or this afternoon, we will be recording our podcast for Vessel, so hopefully that should be out tonight as well, so check that out. Uh, that is the Feedback Force podcast, for those who don't know. I believe it's soundcloud.com slash feedback dash force. So check us out. It's a fun podcast. Anywho, thanks again for joining me. And I'll see you all around. Have a good one.